What's up, everybody? It's Coach Kev, La Fraud, La Bum, La Trash. LeBron James is about to get swept again in the NBA playoffs. He's supposed to be the GOAT, right? Where I'm from, GOATs don't get swept consistently, especially when they're supposed to be playing at a high level still in their career, in the playoffs. Here's inside the NBA, Shaq, Ernie, Kenny, and Charles talking about the matchup, Denver vs. the Lakers, what they saw, and what they think is going on. All you LeBron James fans, y'all got some questions to answer. A game away from a second straight sweep at the hands of the Denver Nuggets, who, Shaq, over the last two years, they've got 36 wins now when they were down double digits. What allows them to be comfortable in that situation and not, and not to panic? Well, because of last year, they definitely have the championship mentality. And they just, they just play well together. You know, uh, my favorite player tonight was Aaron Gordon. Mine's a little bit of Cedric Sabato. You're not going to get your play call. You just got to go out there and, uh, like you said, in the interview, do whatever it takes for the you know, team to win. And listen, right here, offensive rebound. And listen, this guy and Joker Jamal, they did what they're supposed to do. But look at the stat sheet. Other Michael Porter, 20. Other Aaron Gordon, 29. Other kind of Contagious cover will poke five points, and they just play well. And then what I love about their championship mentality, no panic. First two games, down double digits. Lakers came out to a fast start. You, you look at those guys. Mike, Mike Malone's not panicking. The team's not panicking. And they just keep chopping you down. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Denver Nuggets are a great team. But if you're the GOAT, you're supposed to rise above every challenge that comes your way. You're supposed to accept it. And you're supposed to figure out a way to be successful. LeBron is not doing that. Three guys with at least 20 and 10, four with 20 plus in this game. You said you wanted to ask the Jet a question. Yeah, Kenny, when you have a broken spirit, how do you get motivated for the next race or the next game? <laughs> well, firstly, you always have to have a delusion of grandeur. <laughs> Regardless of wins or losses, you always feel that you will win the next game. Contest. Race. Yes. So for 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 um, for the Los Angeles Lakers now, it becomes a not let's win the series. Let's show the world we still have a prideful team that we will not get swept in our home court to end the season two years in a row by the same team. Then if you get one, then you start talking about can we be number one, the first team that can win a series? I mean. Uh, you have to be delusional. Well, that, that's the answer. Though. You have that's, to be delusional. Well, that's, well, so you're going to keep running to the ball until you win. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You know, Ernie, okay. Ernie, I, 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 I am shocked right now. You know, I said before tonight, I said, I would be totally shocked if the Sixers and the Lakers did not win. And my Sixers came through. But what disappointed me about the Lakers, there was no point in that game where you saw desperation or you thought they were going to win the game. It, 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 it's like they had, like, we're going to lose this series 4-0. They were playing like it was a scrimmage, in my opinion. But at no point do you see that game that you say they were playing with desperation. Well, Shaq said they were going to win by seven at halftime yeah. and actually hit the number on the head again. Yeah, second That's straight night. Yeah. But, 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 but because we were doing – he knew that because what we were talking about. At no point did you think Denver was going to lose that game. The Lakers were like, man – they don't realize they're down two zip. Because you see, you saw it with Philadelphia, man. They were playing. They were all over the place with great energy. At no point when that game got close at the end of the first quarter, I was like, man. Because I said, I said, I think the Lakers are going to lose this game. And I, and I so you're telling me the Lakers down 2-0 to the defending NBA champions are not coming out with a sense of desperation, knowing that if they go down 3-0, this series is pretty much a wrap, and you have the GOAT on your team. Sorry, the GOAT on your team? That's not good. No, going in, if you would if you would have told me, hey, Denver's gonna be up in this series three nothing. Nobody thought that. I, but I wouldn't have looked at you and said, You're crazy, that's not possible. But the way they've done it. 
by trailing by double digits in each of these games. I, That's what surprises You know, if you can talk about the illusion, of, I actually thought this was going to be a great series. I, I really did. did. I did. I, I did. I thought this was going to be this going to be a six or seven game series, and they have taken their heart away. They and they're not going to say anything. I I really did. I said, Yo, man, they're going to have a tough time to the Lakers, but they have stole their heart and pride. You know, one thing you have to have when you play the champ, you have to have that killer instinct. And we we thought in the first two games with the double digits that Lakers was, was going to put their foot on their neck. They did not, and tonight they didn't have that killer instinct. And down 3 And what were we talking about on the pregame show? We're talking about the fourth quarter performances when you're looking at Anthony Davis and, and LeBron James. And when you look at it tonight, Anthony Davis, who had 30 points and 11 rebounds through three quarters. Uh, three points in the fourth quarter of this one, just three. Yeah, but I, I, I think that's deceptive, to be honest with you, Ernie. Yeah, one of three is not deceptive. Uh, no, 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 because no. they were down double digits. Yeah, he played well. They, he, he, after, like, the game was not close in the fourth quarter like that other game was. So Anthony Davis comes out the first three quarters, as you see by the stats on the screen, killing first three quarters in game two and three. Fourth quarter, the money quarter, fourth quarter of, NFL, of the NFL, ninth inning of baseball, fourth quarter of the NBA, third period of NHL. Those are the money times. This is where the greatest players, the top players in the league shine. Put the team on my back and let me carry them to sunset. AD, you're not doing that. You are not doing that. They were down 12, 13 points. So... It wasn't like if it was a close game and they didn't go to AD like well, it was eight, eight going to the fourth. Yeah, yeah, but they got down 13, 14 points. It, you never thought the Lakers going to win this game. It, it's my point. Like in, in game two, AD should have got the ball, but that stat right there to me is it's, it's misleading because they were down twelve. They got it down to seven or eight with a let with thirty seconds to go. That's just window dressing. Well, it, it, it might be deceiving, but it's accurate because. There is a no. You know what's accurate? A style of play that the Lakers are consistent with. What's accurate is you can't go 24 minutes and not have one point. That's accurate. So who's that? De'Ang D'Angelo Russell needs to step up. 24 uh, minutes and no point. I'm, I'm not saying it's his fault. I'm just saying. He needs I, to step I mean, up. there's a lot. I mean, for me, I think he's a, 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 an ancillary, complementary player. Yeah, but you can't go 24 well, minutes and playoffs and not score. Shaq is 100% right. You can't go 0 for 7 yeah, in, in, a, in a must-win game. He got the same points as me, you, and Chuck tonight. 112-105, that's your final score. Denver Nuggets up 3 nothing in this first rounder in the 2-7 matchup. And they will try to close it out on Saturday <laughs> night. Be on ABC. That's exactly right. Oh, come on, Mr. Clean. Get that bag, Mr. Clean. And that's body. That's, that's my body, body yeah. Eric Martinez. That's what Chuck looks like in an all white outfit. So, more on that 80 stat. So, for me, in all seriousness, LeBron on every team that he's played for is considered a ball stopper. But when you're the best player on the team, you're going to be a ball stopper because the ball is going to be in your hands most of the time. Most of the percentage of the time, the ball is going to be in your hands. So that's why you would be considered a ball stopper. It's not about coaching. It's not about players. Once the fourth quarter hits, all these plays and sets go out the window and it's get the ball to your best players and let them go to work. So AD only had going 0 for 3 and 1 for 3, whatever those were statistics were in the fourth quarter is nasty. It should not happen. You should just be on the court. Get the ball to AD. If he has to ISO, he ISO and go to work. If he makes it, he makes it. If he misses, he misses. Our best players are taking the most shots in the money time the fourth quarter. So I'm mad about that. I'm disgusted with AD not demanding the ball. LeBron and the rest of the players not giving him the ball. It's less on Coach Ham, Darvin Ham. It's about the players on the court getting the ball to the best players and trying to get them to succeed. But back to you, LeBron. LeBron James. So this is your king, everybody out here. I am disgusted at LeBron James. I'm disgusted at LeBron James fans. But more importantly, I am disgusted at the LeBron James fans that call him the GOAT. The GOAT does not do this. 
The GOAT does not act like this. The GOAT does not say this is just basketball. The GOAT does not miss a three to damn near win the game in the last game and blame it on everybody else but himself not making the shot. That is not what the GOAT does. Let me know in the comments below if you believe the Lakers are done. They're about to get swept or by a miracle. By the grace of God, they're going to come back from down 3-0, be the first team to ever do it, and win an NBA playoff series. If LeBron James does this, I am done with NBA basketball. No more watching basketball because this is just to be pure nonsense. Like I said before, I'll end it with that. Is this your king? Is this your king? Till next time, I'm Coach Cav, and I'm out of here. Peace.